Hey guys, so I finished installing the Signal Messenger clone AXOLOTL and here we see it on a screenshot of my Pine phone running Mobian. This is the icon here for AXOLOTL. Here's the GitHub and you can see that what works, phone registration works, contact discovery works, direct messages work, and I'm going to show you guys screenshots. Group messages work mostly. I haven't done a lot of testing on this, but that's what's listed. Photo, video, audio, contact attachments in both direct and group mode. I did notice you can attach files, so that should work. I haven't actually sent any files yet, but when I did hit the add file, it did in fact pull up the directory for me to select the file. So there's preview for photo and audio attachments, storing conversations, encrypted messaging. Here's some screenshots. I have a conversation here. Of course, I blurred out the majority of it because it's an actual conversation. And this is what your messages will look like on the client. And what we have here is where you can verify the identity to make sure you know who you're talking to. And you want to reset the encryption, you can do that and start over. They even have the double checks. If you can see, it's a little tiny. Your message has gone through successfully. So the client works well. This is a great option for those who are interested in encrypted messaging on the cell phone. Now keep in mind it does rely on a phone number. It's one of the most secure, if not the most secure, messaging platforms that you can use. So with people you do know and you're willing to share the phone number with, this is a great option for you, especially if you're running Mobian and have a Pine phone. It's also out for Ubuntu Touch, which I had used before. It's actually in the Ubuntu Touch store. But the setup process really isn't that difficult. It's pretty easy to set up. It's just a few commands in your terminal, and you'll be up and ready to go on Mobian. So this is what it looks like when you add a new contact. And... That's what I got today, guys. I just wanted to share what it looks like and what kind of experience you can expect on it. Haven't had any crashes, haven't had any issues. This client works pretty well. It's a web-based client, and it should add a lot of options for encrypted messaging. Some of the other programs don't fit the window right. So this one works well. Wanted to report that, and that's what I got. So like the video, share, and subscribe, and I'll be back later with more on the Pine Phone.